It's been a long time coming, but baseball is finally back here in Lowell Park. Today, I get the enormous pleasure of sitting down with head coach Mike Roberts. Coach Roberts, thank you so much for joining us. How excited are you to be back after a canceled 2020 season? Well, it's it's just a pleasure to be back in Katuit. I've been here almost 20 years, and when I drive down Main Street every year coming back for the season, uh, uh, there's a feeling that it's hard to explain. It's it's much more an excitement. It's uh, it's a thrill, really, almost like being on a roller coaster ride. Uh, so I'm very happy to be back here. It was difficult for all of us involved with the Katuit Kettleers and the Cape League to miss 2020, but we're thankful to be cranking up, getting ready to practice, and open the season um, in about a week. I know you're getting ready to have your first meeting of the season. Can you share with us a little bit about what you plan on saying to the players that you haven't really gotten the opportunity to say to them over the fall? Yes, um, I'm happy to share some of that. You know, the first thing I tell them is that, you know, people don't really care how much you know until they know how much you care. And we care and could do it. I mean, from everybody, uh, we all are equal, bad boys, uh, interns, broadcasters, the players, the coaches, our board, uh, everybody working in the store, the concessions. I mean, we're all in this together. So I, I try to get them to understand this is not about them. This is about the community. Um, and, uh, and I try to emphasize that from the first second they arrive, which is today. You know, secondly, I talk about, okay, you're coming from different programs all over the United States, different philosophies, but we have a philosophy here that we want you to embrace, and that is to be gentlemen, to be kind to people on and off the field. Uh, when you come inside the gate, you are serious about what you're doing here, that our fans love to watch you play. And once again, saying it a second time, this is not about you, it's about the team. And so we'll really work hard to try to build team camaraderie. Uh, so um, if you were watching our meeting today, you would see kind of how I start that in, in, in the first step toward building a team. I think the final part of that question I would, I would ask, uh, I would answer for you is that, okay, you have been a star, a superstar maybe, people have told you how good you are, you're a starter every day in most of the programs you're coming from. That may not be true here. You know, you, you're going to have to earn your stripes again. Uh, what you did with a metal bat has nothing to do with what you're going to do with a wood bat. What you did as a pitcher uh, may be okay at school, most likely not good enough right now to be uh, uh, very good in this league. So you're starting over. You're starting over. This is little league. This is backyard baseball. You're competing against your best friend, your teammate to see who's going to play second base, right field, pitch, catch, who's, where are you going to hit in the order. And um, you're not given anything. So, uh, And that sometimes draws big eyebrows like, oh, I thought I was going to play. And uh, so, again, it's a, it's, a, it's a youthful situation. It's like going back to high, uh, Babe Ruth, American Legion. And uh, we'll have a lot of fun with practice, and I look forward to working with every player. You know, there's always a lot of pressure coming off of a championship season. Would you say that you're feeling that pressure? And what kind of tone do you plan on setting for this team early on? Oh, pressure comes from within. Uh, I, I um, you know, I'm going to go back to an interview I saw the other day by Stephen Schrock, who is a submarine reliever from the University of Virginia, and Peter Flaherty Jr., who's really like a son to me, family, sent it to me. and. Schrock had just finished closing out the, the regional last weekend, and Stephen came here out of UMBC before he transferred to graduate school at Virginia and pitched here. And he said something really neat. He said, you know, there's no pressure out here. Life it really has a lot more pressure, you know, trying to get somebody out, get a base hit. And that's the way I want these guys to look at it. This is not life. This is a game. And so do I feel pressure to win another championship? I don't. I'll, I'll again close kind of this question by saying teaching is for the coaching staff. We teach every day. The pressure's on the players in regards to if you want to win for this community, for our fans, who are the best fans in the Cape League, in this beautiful ballpark where we finished with 4,000 people watching the championship in 2019, then you decide if you want to win. 
I'm going to teach every day. You decide how hard you want to play. Like we said earlier, it's been a long time without baseball here on the Cape. Uh, set the scene a little bit for us, June 20th, opening day. <laughs> What's it going to feel like, and what are you most looking forward to? Oh, I'm most looking forward to standing at the National Anthem and looking out into these 19 pristine acres around the ballpark that the Land Trust bought a few years ago. This ballpark will always look like this. No lights, beautiful and to stand there and think about all the memories of all the people since 1947 that have enjoyed this ballpark. That's what I lo love to think about, those 20 national anthems that will be played prior to the playoffs in our 40 games and 20 home games, is I really enjoy standing there thinking about the memories. Coach, thank you again so much. We look forward to seeing all of you here June 20th for opening day in a championship celebration. For the first time of many, Lauren Kirkley from Lowell Park.